Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to show with you guys. We have a package from Devo Knives, which is uh, which is pretty interesting. I think I know what's in here, but as per usual, we're gonna we're gonna share this moment together. Thanks so much to Devo Knives for sending this in. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal Underscore Complex. As per usual, I will link. Uh, this may or may not be available, but I'll link the Devo Knives website down in the description so that you, are, if you are not familiar or if you're just interested, you can go down there and check out uh, what they've got going on. So let's go ahead and open this up. I have to make that cut across the back because my shipping information is on the front. And as much as I, as much as I like the vast majority of you, <laughs> um, I'd still rather not have my personal shipping information out there for the entire world. Sorry, hold on, hold on. And please enjoy the sound of me opening this in the uh, most efficient way possible. There we go, just take my word for it. Okay, so here we go. Hey MC, thanks for taking a look at our newest release. Oh yes, yes, this is exactly what I thought. This is a follow up to our original blank. This is a draw, knives will ship immediately. This will be a White Mountain Knives exclusive. Okay, so Devo Knives, but also White Mountain Knives will be listed down below. Okay, awesome. Yeah, let's check this out. Let's check this out, let's check this out. Yes, okay, interesting, interesting. So this is called the uh, Growler V2, uh, which is a follow-up to uh, their original growler release and right off the bat. I can see what we've got going on here with the ergonomics It's kind of um, now, you know Again it, when it comes to knives I know that it's different depending on what it like if you if, if, if it's watches then what people can say copy Right it, it, when when people say that it, it means something different But when it comes to knives, it's got to be an identical duplication of something in order for the word copy to be valid this is not a copy of anything, but it shares a similar profile or ergonomic idea, right? right? Kind of like the choke up position is similar kind of to the Shaman. It's just shrunk down and has a different blade shape and a different handle profile. But I like this. This is a good way to do this versus having a choke up spot that's behind a nub and then in front of the nub, there is a sharpening choil. The reason I don't like that is because then when you're cutting things that require, like if, if, if whatever you're doing requires this grip, um, then having a nub and then a sharp, see the, the shaman doesn't have that. It's got the nub and then it just comes to, you know, a sharpened edge, which some people don't like because it's got a smile there. A lot of people say you should have put a sharpening tool there. Well, if they put a sharpening tool there, then as you're cutting straight down, you get material lodged in that little area. By doing it like this, the edge just ends. So you alleviate the alternative, which would be a smile at the end of uh, the sharpened portion. Uh, and then you also don't have the sharpening tool there so that, you know, the material doesn't get caught up, right? So this is nice. I like this. The uh, blade material is 154 cm, and that will be the case said with, with the actual release. So given that this is, we have, I mean, the carbon fiber is nice. I'm really glad they didn't go with like that crappy, shiny, flat carbon fiber. Man, I hate that stuff. This is nice, slightly contoured, knocked down at the edges. We have a nested liner, very thin. Um, not like, you know, credit card thin, but as far as pocket knives go, definitely on the thinner side. And, you know, despite it not being, I mean, this is gonna be under eight inches. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. I'm gonna guess that's about seven and a half to seven. Yeah, I'm gonna say seven and a half. I'm exactly right. Man, I'm so good at this. <laughs> oh, wow, so impressive. Yeah, uh, seven and a half inches, and then we have a 3.35 inch blade, pretty good length of blade, but the nice thing here is that we get a full, I mean, if you have hands that are similar in size to mine. I wear an XL glove, which doesn't mean much. If you're, you know, a, a guy, uh, your hands are probably gonna be fairly similar, right? Uh, the average person is going to be the same, slightly larger, sli slightly so smaller than me. I think I feel like I have like perfectly average sized hands. Um, if your hands are anywhere near the same size as mine, then you're going to be able to choke up on this 
no problem. If you're a 2XL or a 3XL glove person, meaning you actually have big hands, you might be a little bit cramped. Truthfully, I can, I'm just barely sliding off here back there on the, uh, the back end of it, but choked up, I'm good. I still have plenty of room here. Wire clip, assuming this is at the price point that I think it is, do we actually, oh yeah, it says right here, 109 bucks. Uh, CF, carbon fiber, not, it's not saying there's a less expensive, ver there is a less expensive version, I think. But if you go with exactly this, carbon fiber and satin with blue accents, it's 109 bucks, which I think is perfectly fair, especially considering what it looks like. Do we have a uh, handle material, pocket clip, liner lock? Does it say... I'm looking for the backspacer. This could be aluminum or titanium. It looks like titanium, but it's hard to say. Um, but either way, nested liners, carbon fiber. I'm, I'm pretty sure the liners are going to be steel. Yeah, steel. That's fine. Uh, and then 154 CM, honestly, for uh, 109, I think that's pretty good. But then you can also do... Dark blue aluminum with stone washed and satin accents for 109, or you can go with white G10 and a black wash uh, with black accents, which actually sounds really cool for 99 bucks, which I also think is fair. The OEM on this is Kubi. As many of you know, Kubi does a great job uh, with their knives, both on the budget end and the um, you know their premium end. Uh, the issue that I think Kubi has with some of their budget knives is they are doing a lot of OS 10A, which people don't really like. Um, so this is a great opportunity to get a Kubi that is made really, really well with materials that most people really like, at least you know from my perspective. So yeah, access to the lock bar is very good. This is a second nature. I mean, everything that is you know meant to uh, be, be utilized in operation. Listen to me adding unnecessary syllables to make myself sound really smart. Um, <laughs> ease of manipulation is very good. Action is very good. All of these, um, you know, these opening elements or closing elements, disengaging elements are all placed in exactly the right spot. So, you know, somebody like me who's right-handed I uh, can easily reverse flick it. I can easily thumb flick it, disengage the liner lock, which is made for right-handed person. I can easily do that with my left hand because this is made by somebody who understands all that. So as far as manipulation goes, this is very, very good. Um, the wire clip, it's okay, right? I mean, they've got it flat here. At least we didn't have a boop, Bill. That drives me nuts. Sorry. Sorry for the, uh, sorry for the noise there. It's just thinking about all of the clips that have absolutely pissed me off over the years. So this is uh, this is fine. There's nothing wrong with this. What do we have here for the hardware? Looks like we got T8. Yeah, that's what that looks like. Ambi, clip mounting positions. That's great. Very, very good. Okay. Uh, I would like to weigh this very quickly. Let's weigh it. I just want to see because I don't think this is going to be super duper heavy. Nope, 3.5 ounces, pretty good ratios there. Okay, very nice. This will get a full review. This is not a review of what you're watching right now. People are still confused by that. I don't know how. I honestly, if you're watching at the end of this video, number one, congratulations. Your, your attention span is <laughs> will hold you for eight minutes. Number two, also congratulations. You can tell the difference between an unboxing and a review. And I, part of me is kind of coming down on some people, but listen, you you should you should you should never trust somebody's review of a thing that they just open up and handle for the first time. That's nothing. I mean, I understand you have to take my word for it when I do the actual reviews. You have to take my word for it that I have spent enough time with the thing to give a good to give good information, right? I get that. But this isn't a review. Okay, all right, I'm done. <laughs> I get every day. People are like, thanks for the review. I'm like, all I did was turn it over and tell you how much it weighed. <laughs> but, I mean, that's fine. For some people, that's all they need, right? You get the OEM, you get the designer, you get the materials. A lot of people don't really need the full review, right? They can, they can get that all on their own. But if you don't, if you're not familiar with that stuff, then you should wait to hear everything because many times, many times I have unboxed something that seems really, really good 
And then after I spend some time with it, get some more information, I find out, eh, there's stuff that I don't really like about it, right? You don't always have to wait for me, but you should try and get the information from multiple sources so that you can make an informed decision, right? Ideally, people who have spent some time with it. Um, so that's just, you know, <laughs> just trying to give you the right of, this appears to be very, very good. I just want, I, I don't want people to be getting the wrong information from these unboxings. I just, I like to do a first impressions and a review. That's what we do here. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much to Devo Knives. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.